Hi all, this is a video in response to Ben Scott, um, see his channel, and um, the other day he posted a video that was talking about the merits of over the head chopping that he calls the Basque way and what he calls the American style, which is over the shoulder. And he says this one's more instinctive it's probably what people start with because they see people doing it or they, it feels most natural to them um versus the way that he was taught by a timber sports athlete so um we got into a kind of debate a conversation the other night um, which was really interesting um where i said that um despite me using the uh the over the over the head over the head method for all sorts of reasons like it's it, I think it's more accurate and I think it's safer um, like I've had the amount of glances that I've experienced off wood has diminished by 90% at least um, and also the fact that the over the head method I think um, economizes energy um, and stops you using um, too much, it stops you wasting energy as well. Um, anyway, but the conversation wasn't about that at all. It was about my point that um, I think that the, um, the, the, the over the shoulder, over the shoulder method can deliver more power. So if you had one hit with an axe, one hit only, um, so all the other um, advantages and disadvantages take it out of the equation of the different methods. If you had one hit, which of these would would which of the two methods would deliver the most power? And I was arguing that um, for a reason that we'll come to in a second, the over the shoulder method is um, is more powerful. Um, this video is not designed to. Um, to say which is which is the better method, right? It's not designed to, to find out or to experiment with which is the better method because that's up to you. You do what you want to do. Um, it is only uh, it's only to try and find out um, with a single hit which um, which method is more more powerful than the other one. So here's my theory. Okay, so throwing an axe. Um, whichever way you do it is um, is is like throwing a ball, right? So we are um, we are using as much of our body as we can to be able to add uh, to generate power to throw that ball or throw that axe. I don't mean let go of the axe, but swing the axe um, as efficiently as possible according to our own body mechanics, right? So when we throw a ball, we, we're not throwing a ball just using our wrist or just our elbow or just our arm. Or whatever. I mean, try it with your left hand and you'll get what, what throwing a ball inefficiently is like, or your right hand if you're left-handed. Um, we're trying to align um, or, or, or coordinate all the parts of our body that we can to be able to add efficiency and add power and energy into, that, into throwing the ball. So, if you threw a ball from here, you would throw the ball quite far, but it wouldn't go anywhere near as far as if we took the ball and we stand to the side and use our body to rotate and we'd let go of the ball there. So what's happening here, rather than just using our arm to throw the ball, we are rotating like all the different parts of our body. So my, my hips are gonna rotate and they rotate my shoulder, which rotates my elbow, which rotates my wrist and then rotates my fingers at the hand and fingers at the very end of it. And when it's all aligned, it's one big smooth, smooth motion, which accelerates each part of the, part of the skeleton at the same time. So my argument is that the same goes for swinging an axe, right? So just as we wouldn't um, get the most power by, by, by throwing the ball from over our heads, 
um, we wouldn't get the most power from swinging the axe over our heads because it doesn't involve that rotation that we're talking about, that I'm talking about. So we'll get the most power in swinging our axe if we can accelerate each part of our body, each part of our structure into the hip. And that was my argument to Ben Scott. Now he blew me out of the water by, um, by showing me um, a, a video of t t uh, steel timber sports uh, competition where um, it wasn't timed, they were just putting the maximum power into the hit and they were in fact, they were indeed using um, the over the over the head method. Um, but I'm still going to investigate this um, because because physics tells tells me, I'm not a physicist, um, but physics tells me that um, I should be able to get more power by rotating my body. Okay. So this is Big Bertha. Um, so it's a big old, big old tree, and it's long dead, and it's pretty soft. But um, that's okay because with the axe that I'm using. Um, I'm not going to get a massive amount of penetration anyway. Um, by the way, it's a Halter Force HY10, I think, 850 grams, and it's my favourite axe by a long way. 26 inch handle, I think, something like that, and it's really whippy and it's just brilliant. So, yeah. So, this is going to be the first, um, first attempt, and I'm going to use the Basque method or the, um, the timber spots method okay and we'll just see how far it goes in I'm gonna give it everything so it's gone to within like a centimeter of the writing there try to strike it with the heel to get more penetration and over the shoulder okay that's gone a bit deeper That's gone nearly to the writing. So, have we got? Are we starting to see anything? Uh, desperately trying to prove my own theory. So here we go, one more time. Basque way, timber sports way. I'm going to try and rip the head off this time. <sighs> okay, so that's gone within about I don't know eight or nine mil of the writing. This thing here. Okay, over the shoulder. Yeah, that's deeper. That's gone to within about three, four mil of the writing. Mm, okay, Basque way. <sighs> Sorry about the sex noises. Okay, 10 mil. Okay, over the shoulder. <sighs> four mil from the writing, maybe three. I promise you, Ben Scott, I am using exactly the same amount of power on each of them. I, exactly the same amount of effort, rather. Okay. Over the head. Ha! That's like 15 mil, 14, 13 mil from the writing. Over the shoulder. That's like 10 mil. Point proven? Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to throw this axe handle as far as I can using both methods. One over the head, Basque style, and then the other one over the shoulder using rotation. See how far they get and I'll count the paces with each. Okay, over the head. One, two, three, four, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five pace. Okay, and now over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. One, two, three, four, 
19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 paces as opposed to 25 over the head. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 paces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 21, 22, 23, 24, call it 25. One, two, three, four, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty. And from trying this a bunch of times, it is consistently going further. Um, when I rotate my body, I recognize that um, I'm not doing the same same movement as when I'm swinging an axe because the axe is going downwards and so you're going to have different different um, mechanics at play. My time down at the bayou is done and um, what can we take from it? Okay, first of all we can take that um, I'm not a physicist and neither am I a timber sports athlete, in fact I'm no athlete at all. Um, but this is just me versus myself testing two techniques to try and find out which is the most powerful in a single hit. So as much as there are variations in the results, there, um, there, there is a trend and that is that swinging the axe over my shoulder using rotation is more powerful than it is over the head and that could be for all sorts of reasons but I think what I'm saying is still true. But that said, um, I'm not going to use that over the shoulder method, um, I've moved away from it. Um, even though it is more powerful in a, in a single hit, I think, um, I'm not going to use it because I don't think it's anywhere near as accurate and um, I don't think it's as safe as over the head and I don't think it conserves energy and I don't think it um, is as efficient. Um, there was a buzzard flying over. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to use it, but this video is not about that anyway. So yeah, okay, thanks Ben good debate uh, let's continue it be really interested to hear your thoughts either in the comments or um, just make another video proving me wrong because I'm happy for you to do that all right <laughs>